I am the Rasta man. You know, I'm going to repeat again that one of the things that show me, the movie show me, is the understanding, a clearer understanding of what transpired on the plantation. That you almost relive. You have put forward, you have put yourself inside of the movie. But not only inside of the movie, but in a 200 years ago when this thing was taking place, 400 years ago when this thing was taking place, you find yourself inside of the movie. And you, and you realize that eh, the struggle is long because even the lady, we call her lady in Ghana, but you call her Shola in a, in, when she come over here, so spiritually, she move over here, so, and then she wake up from the, 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 the model vibes and taking pictures in the dungeons and all them something there. She wake up to that reality. It showed me how deep, the movie showed me how deep it is black people find themselves in all this quagmire of filth where Europeans take away and put we in her. And now we are well in the filth. The filth. Cause right now, good become bad, wrong become right, positive become negative. And now we see say, the church manipulate, control. When you're going to Ghana, in the dungeon, then where you go, you know. You have two church right in front of the gate of the dungeon, you know. And them have two story in the dungeon. One underneath is where them keep the, the Africans them, for ship them, because there's a door, them call it the door of no return. When you go through that door there, you go right upon the boat. Door of no return. But on top is where them keep church service. The white people them keep church, you know them keep church service, huh? We thank the Lord for the good and beautiful bounty that them have with the African them. That them going to go across this ocean you now to go make money and use the African them like animals. And it show me on a physical level because after that we go back there so much time, the dungeon. I remember going to the, one of the dungeons when they say it's a bad slave dungeon. I say, all right, here we are now, Bridget. Why you lock me in this dungeon? You, know? you see, when the man lock me in the cell, man, not even my shadow, I can't see the way the place And You see, you know, about five minutes me in there, and I come like me a beard, because no window, and the only door down there is a metal door. And then when I knock the door, I move me back, and I say, imagine our ancestors is in a dot for all weeks, weeks, depending on where them things say you do wrong, them put you in there upon a certain level. When you look upon you, when you go down in the dungeon, the ground, and whole people might not want to believe it, and only those who go there will see it. The ground is filled. All sorts of things kick up to make the ground over the past almost hundreds of years. Because the only time they wash it out is when somebody sick. Then wash it out. But you, you, you filter it, so you do everything in that same dungeon there. And that is where it showed me. It showed me, said, this something, uh, how can I know all of that? And then come now, come and go on like business as usual. The only business was to keep our ancestors in that dungeon and then carry us over here, so in the next dungeon and this farmer's slave plantation island that them call Jamaica. So we couldn't go ease up now because we can afford certain things. We can go certain places and we have visa for go there so and visa for go there. So we can we can ease up. And that movie, me I tell you, there's nobody can watch that movie there and it not left some imprint in them. Nobody. I know that. Because I've been all over the world with that movie. And when you talk to the people them, people crying at the theater man. Cry in the theater. So it showed me a lot of things. It showed me a lot of things. And it brings forward that just continue the way I do, no matter what is the madness and the arrogance we are going out there with. Well, you just know, talk about African, you just know, talk about Christianity and all them something. Yes, these are the things that still embedded in our mind. And we can't help it because we don't know how to wake up 
as African people. Well, let me hear you say my